back and forth with Mackenzie Doniak. For Jakobsen, in the area, has a chance, Jakobsen! Tuesday, uh, match day plus three for us, and prepping for Houston. Um, so we've had a really good day, energy's been great today. Players have had a really good vibe around the training ground and feeling good. Yeah, we need, we need to bounce, we know that. I mean, you're outcome driven, aren't you? You're about results, you're about winning, you're about making sure you get three points on the board. So yeah, it's difficult, especially emotionally for the players. We knew we didn't deserve anything against Kansas and it wasn't our, our best performance. And then we go and we put on a fantastic performance, I think, against Orlando, create really good chances. So to come away with nothing is disappointing, but you only improve by working. No panic from me, and I, I said that post-game. It's uh, just instilling belief in the players that they can go and, go and win. Have our style of play, still try to play our game and play the way that we want to play, and we have full confidence in Carly and every single player on this team. I think it's definitely hard to have two losses in a row, especially at home. We all take that heavily, and you know we don't want to let ourselves down, our staff down, or our fans down. Our mentality is going to be up here, and we're going to get after it and really go for those three points against Houston. We know that they're on the top, and we know that to be on the top, you have to beat the best team, so we're prepared to do that. Pause, patience. Played in, which is great, because she's had a couple of games. Kaylin! She's had her games earlier on in the season and obviously the games recently on the international break where she performed so well. Her levels of training have been unbelievable. You can see the intensity today. They really go and get after each other and push each other to get better, which is exactly what you want, really. I mean, she's one of, if not the most experienced player on the team. So she's match fit and match ready. Uh, again, I go back to her knowledge of the game and the position is so high that she can step in at any point. We know last week I got a little heated, but at the same time, I think that just shows my commitment towards this team and, and the passion I have for this team. They work incredibly hard, every single person on and off the ball, and I will fight till the end for them. I know that Houston's gonna bring us a challenge. They're, they're always a challenging team to play. They've got a lot of speed, a lot of creativity, but you know, they're gonna fight till the end. Carly doesn't need much from me. She's, she's a professional. She's incredible as a human and as a player. I think knowing that we all have her back and as a goalkeeper unit, I'm so blessed to be a part of it. She challenges me every single day. But as a person, she's making me a better player and person and I'm actually really grateful for the time and I'm gonna stretch her career out as long as I can. I'm gonna make her keep playing because she's phenomenal. I learn from her every day. Yeah, I mean, coming from, you know, section 109, coming from the Cove, um, from our last night at Torero, I mean, it's, this has been our home. We begin with a group of like eight people who are just super passionate about the team, and then it grows to something like this, where, you know, we have a membership of over 200 now. I think Wave run away with it. I think it'll be, you know, probably four to zero. Um, I, I think that they're going to come out, I think they're going to come out fired up. Jensen blows the whistle and we're underway. Still in the area, dangerous territory. Salmon cuts it back. A monster shot. And Houston takes the lead. Morgan rips a shot. 50 goals for Alex Morgan in her NWSL career and world level. Rio locks it up, back post. Here's a head. that San Diego needed.
culture here is amazing. Um, every player knows their value um, and are valued on this team, whether you play 90 or zero minutes. We obviously, the first one, we needed a goal. So, you know, any touch I could get towards the goal, I was able to head it back across and Amira was in a great position and just tapped it. Second one, Soph is on that back line ready to go. She was hungry for her first goal. So I'm happy I could assist her for that. So yeah, I think it was a team effort for sure. <laughs> They're literally my boost and my boost of energy when I'm out there. They're yelling for me, you know, chanting my name, and I, I just know I gotta do it for them and my teammates and myself, essentially. And um, you know, I'm glad I could be able to do that today. Absolutely unbelievable. You are a 21 player, and we couldn't have got this victory without you. So thank you. And we will see you next time.